in this work. Uh, Mr. Sommer will talk about this. Thank you, Mr. Machelet, uh, for this introductory words. So I cannot top the entertainment uh, of Mr. Böttcher, but I will emphasize on education and especially on our schools, so an area where we've been active for 10 years already in Saxony. I will show you some examples. I will show you some problems that you might face there. Uh, uh, so, of course, education, that's uh, the task of uh, the state government. And I will also talk about the successes of this project. So, the starting point was, why should climate change be a topic for education, for schools, for education outside of schools? It's a central topic of our society. So this was clear also during the two days. So, and of course you have to go to contact children and uh, young people. So our generation cannot make so much big differences. So we should uh, contact uh, the following uh, generation. Of course, you also give the responsibility to the following generation. So this is a little bit tricky, but this task is also very important because this is the generation who will make the decisions for tomorrow. And so we have to transfer the knowledge to them at a very early stage to children and young people. And there are several possibilities. I will show them to you. You. And we want uh, to form three capabilities with the children and young people. They should be able to estimate, to evaluate um, developments. So sometimes this is a little bit of criticism towards school that it's only knowledge transfer and there will be tests and exams and so on, but um, they don't uh, teach uh, solutions and how to find solutions and so on. So uh, the children and the students should be able to evaluate uh, the knowledge and they should be also uh, able to have a competence to act. So this is uh, the aim at the end of the whole hierarchy. And so it's important to give material to them. So what's the status at Saxony right now? So we've been active in this area for 10 years now. It's not like this in all the federal states, but uh, we work closely with uh, the Ministry of uh, Education from other federal states. Uh, there are some other uh, messages about this. So we always uh, wanted to give an education for uh, sustainable development. So this was a project of the UNESCO. So there was an orientation framework for global development. And there were many topics like biodiversity, uh, environmental protection, climate change, but also social topics, economic topics. And that's why I think it's very important that climate education is not a single topic, but it's in relation with different topics. So there is uh, the State Foundation for Nature and Environment and also other private institutions. So since 2007, uh, we've been working together with the Ministry of Education and um, we did this step by step. So you cannot have a quick success, so the right measure and then a big success immediately, but it's a, a stepwise process, but it's worth doing it. So what have we done during the 10 years? We prepared material, we prepared offers for further education, we conducted uh, competitions, and we tested different offers and we implemented them in school practice. So when you look at uh, 
the, the lessons that are taught in school. Um, climate change is part of the lessons, but mainly in geography. But there is not really sometimes it's uh, the soil, sometimes it's United States, developing countries. It's not a topic on its own. And so it was interesting that the Minister of Education said that uh, we have to change the education scheme. So normally you put in new topics uh, all the time, and so that uh, children only learn by head. But uh, the topic climate, uh, that's something where you can have an interdisciplinary uh, teaching and to understand uh, how everything is linked together. So it's not a specific grade. It's a stepwise process. It starts in the seventh grade, eighth grade, and up to uh, uh, 10th grade or 12th grade. So the long-term aim is to, to have this topic part of uh, normal school teaching. But of course, this is a long-term uh, process. Uh, the next revision will be during the next three or four years. And so this topic, climate change, will also have uh, a part in this and more importance. So what have we done so far? We tried to bridge this phase. We wanted to show uh, the schools that uh, this is an important topic, that uh, the students bring this topic with them because they know about this from the media. And there are certain activities that we do that I want to show to you. And we don't only have uh, positive uh, experiences with this. So these are our offers um, for climate education in schools. Maybe you've seen something outside. So we have this climate pavilion. We have uh, prepared different material. We uh, did further education training for the teachers. And always uh, we ask for motivation um, from the schools to uh, be part of this. And now some um, detailed information about some material. So what was important for us since 2007, um, that this topic is not only part in uh, geography lessons, but in all different lessons, because there are ecological aspects, social aspects, and that's why we tried uh, to have this possibility of interdisciplinary lessons and to have this topic part of the interdisciplinary lessons. And so the teachers, they ask for material already prepared, already deductively uh, reduced, so that we can um, use it right away. But of course, we are not a service agency that can offer everything. Uh, the teacher should also uh, prepare this material himself, um, depending on interests and uh, students in the class and so on. So geography is the classical lesson for this, but it's not the only lesson where you could use it. So ethics, for example, would be a nice lesson where you can talk about this. Of course, natural sciences, but also informatics and foreign languages. So a gymnasium in Tristan, uh, they had like five hours uh, in the English class uh, for this. It's also a topic for project work, for work groups and so on. So we started with this. We didn't have a school book for this and uh, school books are also differentiated. So there is an own school book for a certain federal state, or if the federal state is too small, then they have to uh, go together with other school books, or their own material is developed. 
So we try to have a leaflet like this. So this topic is very abstract, the global climate change, but we wanted to show very concrete things in everyday life of the pupils. So this is uh, some pages of this leaflet. We wanted to show uh, some things uh, derived from the global uh, connections to uh, changes directly in Saxony. What are the changes that we are expecting and uh, how will be affected in our structures, infrastructure and so on, and what are possibilities for action so that the pupils see what they can actually do with about this. And together with it, and that's also important, you also need a handout for the teachers. You need something to offer, a worksheet, experiments, or already prepared uh, overhead transparencies. So there are still teachers that use this. So also offers for files and uh, offers on the internet and so on. So these are examples for worksheets. So this is winter tourism in Saxony, soil erosion and so on, uh, the water balance and so on. So there are different possibilities how you can use it in the different grades uh, in middle school, but also at the gymnasium. And also experiments for students. You can also have uh, teachers for biology or chemistry interested in this and experiments are also very good to have some practical action during uh, the lesson. And then we prepared uh, the climate pavilion. We developed this idea together with an agency in 2007-2008. So this is an interactive offer where a group of students together with a teacher uh, can uh, call up uh, contents, um, can ask questions, so it's an, in an interactive way. You can see here there was an activity so many ministers already experienced this uh, pavilion. I could show you pictures of all the in, uh, ministers of environment here. So also ministers can talk to students. And students discuss together with the ministers. So that's a nice thing. So we lent this uh, to schools uh, statewide and uh, this is a very good so ein, thing. Ein Blick hier rein in die, um, so in that's das uh, the offer uh, that we have there. Die, die, die so there are files like this. You can click on items. You have uh, consequences of the climate change adaptation uh, and so on. And this is a small offer uh, that um, is available in, in different uh, federal states. So it's a box uh, with um, energy measuring devices and so on. There is an interactive board game. It's called Mission Climate. Uh, where uh, students can play on the ground together and have to solve uh, tasks and questions. And then in 2010, we tried to have a competition uh, statewide and many directors of schools said there are so many competitions around and uh, competitions on history or environmental competition and so on. But we had this idea, we wanted to stick with this competition, but uh, together with some practical things. And so we decided that way that the schools have to contribute to this, they have to make contributions and they have to have an activity day at the school and there the Minister of Environment will come to the school and to look at this and this was a good idea. So 
Mr. Kupfer had to visit five schools uh, statewide. So it was not very ecological, but we visited a lot of schools. And this was really an experience, and I was able to join this and to see how the students uh, find out about contents themselves, how they plan actions. On the left hand side at the bottom, how they do experiments and can also explain it. So this was sixth or seventh grade. So you don't have to go to older uh, students. You can also do it with younger students. And this is a self-developing process. So somebody starts to talk to the minister. And so the teachers were only in the background. So this activity day was very nice, was very important. So you have to have some activities there, not only knowledge and transfer. Ende, um, and at the mal, end, uh, there was an award. So musicals were uh, developed so by in dem, in dem alten an elementary school in uh, Leipzig, and there was a ceremony, an award ceremony, uh, with uh, school bands, orchestras, and, and the main award, the Führung the main prize was uh, a tour through the Panometer Amazonian. So the artist uh, Assisi was there and talked to the students about the development of this uh, exhibition, but also about his travel through Amazonian. So the state minister uh, are not the same anymore, but uh, this was the prize winning students. So these are offers for the students, but the teachers are also important. And sometimes uh, teachers are like obstacles or they, are, they have uncertainties. They are not sure uh, how to cover this topic. And I hear so much from the media. And so we have to do further education of the teachers. So we supplied several offers in the first years, and now it's a long-term uh, process. Over a time period of three to four years, we have a structured offer and this uh, state foundation of Saxony um, is implementing this because it's very close to the schools and to the teachers. And again, um, the possibility of interdisciplinary uh, teaching. So this is hard to do because uh, with the different lessons. So we have first successes, but we are not there where we want to go. But to have uh, interdisciplinary talks, uh, that's already a first success. So we want to continue like this. And here you see an invitation. So soon palm trees in the Ore Mountains. So it was a political provocation. So to invite the teachers, to get the teachers to uh, attend uh, this training. And so we learned from the build. Zeitung, <laughs> the newspaper. But you find out that there are students that are skeptical about this topic, that don't like this topic so much, and so we tried something else. Um, there is a climate expedition, a German Watch. This is a, an, an environmental group, and they offer a climate expedition. So you get live uh, satellite pictures, and uh, you can compare them to uh, images from the past. And so we were in the middle school in Hostowitz together with the uh, Ministry of uh, Environment uh, in the ninth grade. And all people said this will be difficult, but we did this. And uh, we had two hours. And this environmental association showed uh, different examples, like the International Air 
traffic and uh, how deserts expand and so on. And when he showed uh, examples that were more up to date, there were bigger discussions. So uh, the students started to discuss about this and put uh, examples themselves. So this was something for people that are oriented uh, more towards uh, the technical side. And so these students were interested how uh, these satellite images are made. And so that's what I already told you. But there are also other possibilities. And we do this together with the German Weather Service. So students that are more interested into nature, biology, we can also have these phenological observations and combine this with climate change. So Saxon schools um, investigate climate change. This was the motto of it. And so we try to motivate the schools to take part in this, to have uh, phenological uh, observations of uh, the blossoms and uh, leaf fall and things like this. So we developed material together with the German uh, Weather Service, and we have to push this uh, activity a little bit, but we want two things. Uh, we want to have uh, volunteers uh, to be observers for the German Weather Service, because uh, mostly these are older people and they get retired someday. So we want to motivate young people to take part in this, and we want to show that it's it's not a boring topic, but interesting, and it has something to do with the climate change. But at the other hand, we also want to collect more data. We want to uh, gain more data. So we want to offer an app where you can use your smartphone for this. And so this material is prepared, especially for students. And we want to intensify the whole thing. And there will be also an offer on the internet to show the results uh, in the form of uh, maps so that uh, the students get a feedback and they, they can be proud and uh, they say that uh, I was part of this. So there was a small success already. So for two years, for two or three years, uh, there was already some change in the lessons. Uh, there is an a voluntarily um, topic uh, for the 11th grade in Saxony, uh, where the topic is climate change in Saxony. So we get a feedback of the schools that uh, they do something like this, uh, or the students contact us because they have a test or something. So this is just starting, but we will further develop this. And this is the last topic, and this will be also the end of the presentation. So we have done a lot during the last 10 years. So there were many singular offers. They multiplied because of the main schools, but we need more structure for this. So we actually need uh, the topics in the official lessons, but also some cooperation between the schools, some exchange uh, between the schools in Saxony, so that there is a network of schools uh, that are interested in this topic. So together with the Ministry of Education, uh, we try to convince them. It's now decided on. And so uh, for two years, we have a model testing. And we offer to Saxon schools uh, to have an image as a climate school. So, so there is, it's binding for schools to have some uh, profile for a school. So there is a gymnasium in Dresden where you have a sustainability school, so you can have a lot. And we want to give the opportunity to have a profile as a climate school. So 11 schools applied for this. So 10 schools will take part in it. So different types of schools, elementary schools, middle schools, and also gymnasium. So this is the list of the different schools that applied for it. 
and uh, there you so all fields uh, should be detected so the infrastructure of the school, uh, the teaching, the lessons, but also further education of the teachers and also uh, activities outside the school. So you have different modules there. And then we want to do this for two years, and we want to support uh, the schools in this. Uh, scientists will uh, support this, and we have specialists that go to these uh, schools. We have external speakers that we will finance that go to the schools, and also the Ministry of Education can have some funds in order to, to buy some material that is necessary. So we hope uh, that this is a further step to have a structure, to have model schools uh, statewide and that they can network, that they can link up. There is some exchange between the schools and then once we have this topic finally officially uh, in the school books, then they can also multiply and help other schools with this. So that's just starting right now. It starts in, in summertime after uh, the summer holidays. And then we will do this for two years, and in two years we will see what are our experiences with this topic. So that's already the end. I hope I could give you some impression how we handle this topic, climate education in Saxony. Uh, we reached something, but we also have some more aims. And so thank you very much. Don't, don't run away. Thank you very much, Mr. Sommer. So this was not a firework as the presentation before. It was more down to the base. But it's very important in our society, and um, they need a lot of support. Thank you very much. And you were running away. <laughs> And I still have a gift for you. So some liquid, a liquid souvenir. Thank you. Are there any questions on your behalf? Just a moment, the micro please for interpreters. Just a brief additional remark, uh, also for bridging, for, for creating a bridge between yours and Dr. Kondorfer's paper, as to the spatial strategy, ecological network, in the new um, school book of the 11th grade, there actually is a topic. I, d I did not know that. Many thanks for this additional comment. A brief question. Is there any exchange with other countries that might be very interesting also be uh, German states now for a moment? German states. Well, it's a, that's a tricky thing. It's not, the answer is not easy. We had a work group between environmental and culture and school uh, offices. So you certainly know that it is up to the regional states to design their school system and the structures are so different, we do not have a real exchange of activities between the German states. So we have the Hamburg Educational Server, we actually use that, we actually look into the systems of uh, our uh, German states and autonomous cities, but we cannot say there is an actual structural basis for this. It's no, there's no system behind, it's just sporadic. Okay. In the past, we actually developed or had uh, or asked system researchers to develop a lecture, a kind of u school university, 
for the uh, seventh and eighth grade and fifth grade. It's called Climate University for Climate Change. In terms of, uh, of climate change, it's not a school environment, but it's more organized in other public spaces. Uh, if you are interested, I can give you the address. Thank you. Yeah.